Arigati. How do I know if a word starts with m, if it belongs to this noun class or if it be belongs to the previous noun class? It's simple. If you know the, the, the noun, then put it in the plural. Okay, so based on plural, I will know. Yeah. You have to, you have, if you know, you, you, you know because I know there are a lot of words that start with m. But in order to start with mm -hmm. this noun goes, for example, you say mwa, this now is mm. You have to make sure that that word is you put it in the plural. You can say you cannot say mzazi, it goes with me because in the plural is wazazi. Mm. You see, that's why I say that to be, you have to learn at least today these two. Mwa, mm -hmm. mwa, which start the noun start with the mm in the singular and the wa in the plural. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the um, me, the noun starts with the um in the singular and the me in plural. Of course, I'm gonna send all these slides to you. Mm -hmm. So you see, in singular um, it starts with the um, yeah. In the plural is meet. Mm -hmm. You can see here, I written umoja wingi. Wingi means plural, umoja singular. Mm -hmm. So, mpila. Mipira. Yes. Mlango. Milango. Mkono. Mikono. Ngu. Migu. Mkate. Mikati. Mnazi. Minazi. Mwembe. Miembe. Ngomba. Migomba. Any other word you know that start with the mm? And then mm -hmm. the plural start with the mi. Mm. 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 but I don't know if that's the correct yeah, one. Yeah, Marubaini, Mi Arubaini, yes. Mi Arubaini. Yes. Especially trees, most of the trees it goes under this in our class. Most of the trees. Now found Marubaini. Yeah, that's good. Madawa. Madawa. <laughs> oh, you have to drink the tea from the Marubaini, oh VP. <laughs> okay, Nizulisana. Ma, But then, in the case of Mwembe. Mm. Not only adding I, but you also take out the W. Yeah, we take out W. Migomba, we are, we move M, we put it me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nazi, we take M, we put me. Mm -hmm. Papai, you know Papai? Mm, dear, but I forgot now. Eh? I forgot. Papaya, what does it mean? Papaya? Eh, papaya. True. Yeah. Ah, no. uh, you have perfect. it in your, in your, your book. Perfect. Now, uh, let's not take too much time. Now let's see 
Possessive adjective and pronouns and a mm, one on class. Do you remember possessive adjectives and pronouns? Mm -hmm. Do you remember them? Mm -hmm. Angle, etu, those are possessive adjective and pronouns. Remember them? Yeah. Mpenzi, wangu. Remember about that? Ango, eto, eno. Those are possessive adjectives. I think you remember them? Yeah, yeah. I have them written down, yeah. Okay. So, and uh, me now in class, uh, possessive adjective, it takes prefix wa, o, w, when the noun is in a singular. When the, have a look here, that's, it takes the prefix wa or w when the noun is in a singular, and it takes a prefix y or ya when the noun is in plural. So you have to change mm -hmm. this noun. Is it in a singular? If it's in a singular, you put w. So that is like in the previous because it's m, so it's where like wangu wak wak. Yes. Then you put the one. The plural is different. Yeah, when you put is, when it's in the plural. Mm -hmm. So it's simple that you add the W, singular nouns, Y, mm -hmm. plural nouns. Let's see the examples. These are possessive adjectives. I think you remember them. Angu mm -hmm. means my or mine. Etu mm -hmm. means a or as. Ako means your in the singular. Enu means your. In a plural, ake means her or his. No. Ao means there. You mm -hmm. get it? Yeah. Now, if it's now if the noun is in a singular, you say wangu, wetu, wako, wenu, wake, wa. Mm -hmm. But if the noun is in a plural. You say, Yangu, Yetu, Yako, Yenu, Yake, Yao. Simple like that. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Now let's see okay. examples of the sentences. You see that one? Can you read this yeah. sentence? Mlango wangu. Yes. In a plural? Mlango yangu. Mlango yangu. Mlango wangu. Mlango is in a singular, then wangu, wangu. takes W, which be wangu. But when the noun change into plural, milango, yeah, it comes input Y. Milango yangu. You cannot say milango wangu, no. You say mm -hmm. milango yangu, not milango wangu. My door and my doors. Milango mm -hmm. wetu, milango yetu. So it's yours. Yeah. Your door and your doors. Milango wetu, milango yetu. Milango wako. Mm -hmm. Milango yako. Yes. Simple like that. Milango wenu. Milango yenu. Yes. Wake. Milango yake. Milango wao. Milango yao. Miti wangu. Miti yangu. Mti wetu, miti yetu. Mti wako, miti yako. Mti wenu, miti yenu. Mti wake, miti yake. Mti wao, miti yao. Very good. You see? It seems like that. No? Oh, okay. clear. 
So the most important thing that you have to remember there that check if the noun is in plural, just add why in that particular, uh, in that possessive adjective. And uh, if the noun is in a singular, add W. Plural, you add Y. Singular, you add W in that possessive adjective or pronoun. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Any question? No. Oh, thank you. Now we are going to the demonstrative adjective that goes with uh main noun class. Mm -hmm. Demonstrative adjective and pronouns that goes with the nouns that are under main noun class. There is these are only demonstrative adjectives that goes with nouns found under main noun class. There is who who, which means this. There is ure, which means that. There is he he means this. Ire means those. Mm -hmm. Get it? Mm -hmm. I think remember the other one, it was who you? Yure. Hawa, mm -hmm. wale. Remember the other one and the more? Dio. This one is different. This is who who which means this. Ule, which means that. He, he, which means this. Ire, which means those. Mm -hmm. And this pron these demonstrative adjective and pronouns are used only under the nouns that found uh, uh, we are using we use this demonstrative adjective and pronouns to the nouns that are under mm, mean noun class. So make sure that when you are using uh, this kind of uh, demonstrative adjective, make sure that they are under mm, me, the nouns are under mm, me noun class. Mm -hmm. For example, you can say mti hu hu. But do you say who, who do you say who? Who who? Eh? Who who? Are they getting you? Who? Can yeah. you just say who? Yes. Who who? Who who? Mm. Ule. Mti ule. Mkono. Ule. Remember, this one is for the nouns. When the nouns are in the singular, is when you use who, who, and the ole. But when mm -hmm. the nouns are in the plural, you use e or ile. Mm -hmm. For example, now. Angalia mikono hi. Very good. Angalia mikono i. Angalia mikono i. Angalia migu hi nizuli. Migu hi nizuli. That is in the plural. Mm -hmm. Okay, we say, uh, um, mpapai uhu, mpapai uhu, in puri bi, mipapai hi hi. Okay. You get mm -hmm. it? Maybe mwembe ule, mwembe ule, in puri bi, mi embe ile. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ule ile. Clear. Okay. So simple, you can take this one. For example, Mlango, whatever, and 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 announce and announce like Milango, meet. Eh? But you put this when it's the when noun is in a singular, you just put who oh, oh, referring this or oh, for that. Mm -hmm. When the noun is in a plural, just use he in for these, ele for those. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Simple like that. Any questions so far, Wada? 
No, it is clear. Something. Then uh, under descriptive. Descriptive adjective. Mm -hmm. Okay, descriptive adjective under this noun class, mm, noun class, we just put the prefix mm in singular, and we put the prefix me in plural. Means that when the noun is in singular, we just put the prefix mm. And when the noun is in plural, we just put the prefix me. Mti uzuri. Yes. Uzuri. Uzuri. Miti mizuri. Mpira mchafu, mipira michafu. Mgu mrefu, migu mirefu. Mkono mfupi, mikono mifupi. Manazi mkubwa, minazi mikubwa. Mgu mnene, migu minene. What is mnene? Hmm? Like fat or big. Okay. Hmm. Mwembamba. Mwembamba, mwembamba. Bamba. Mwembamba, that's small. Small or slim. Okay. Mgu, mwembamba. Hmm. Mwembamba. Mm-hmm. And then migu, mi embamba. Yes. So you again, you take out the W. Yeah, take it, W. It's like muembe. You are so smart, you know? You are easy to identify the sporting guy. Well, I speak, you know, this is my eighth language. So eighth I language. learn a lot of language. Oh, yeah. you are very smart. <laughs> the logic of the language, I, I'm starting to understand quite quickly. So. Oh, yes, very smart. Eight language. I only know on, on the three. My, <laughs> I know Swahili, English, and uh, uh, another tribe language. <laughs> Which one? Which tribe are you? Nyambo. Do Nyambo. Not, uh, Nyambo from the part northwest of Tanzania. Nyambo is the key. Kinyankole is like Kihaya. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know this. Because I, I, I lived in Zanzibar, so in Zanzibar we have a lot of hehe, -he yeah. a lot of people from the Kilimanjaro region. Yeah, Chaga. Chaga, hehe, -he, but not so much uh, yeah. from other parts. Yeah, in Zanzibar there are not more people from mainland Tanzania. They're not, of course, our area is very far from. Of course, even from Dar es Salaam to my to my home village, is one thousand six hundred kilometers. Mm. It's very far. When you are driving, it's two two days drive. Mm. Yeah. It's very far. Okay, so for you it's good. Eight eight language, not nice. Okay, so for today, my aim was just uh, running this me noun class. Now it's time for quiz or exercise. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm just giving you a minute to ask me any question. Then after that, I will give you a 
please or say something like that. Mm -hmm. mm, uh, right now, I cannot uh, think of any uh, questions. So let's go. You don't have a question? No. Okay, if I don't have a question, let me share again my screen. And I'll, I'll give you, I'll show you the exercise. You can see my screen? Can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. And I says we do it, then and another let's start with the question number one. Mm -hmm. Fill the gap with appropriate noun agreements. Dash ni dash. The dash dash ni mwalim dash angu dash zuri dash a kiswahi. You, you see? Oh, who are you? Good. Ni mwalim. Yes. Uh, wangu. Yes. Mm. Zuri. No, I don't know. Mzuri ya kiswahili. Wow. We wow. say wangu, it's supposed to go wow. Uyu ni mwalimu wangu wa kiswahili. You cannot say ya kiswahili. You cannot say mwalimu ya kiswahili. It's <laughs> the way it goes together, you know? When you start with the way, it go with that one. Because this is in it. It's a mwanaun class. This noun is under mwanaun class. Mm hmm Hmm. Me. Mualimu Wangu. Mm -hmm. But what is this Mzuri? Mzuri is correct. Yeah, but why I mean what is the English translation of this sentence? Then this is a teacher. Is it my teacher of good or he is my and good teacher? This is my good Swahili teacher. Okay, Mzuri. Waki Swahili, yeah? Okay. Okay, so he is my teacher I... and he's also good in teaching the Kiswahili. That's yeah. what it means. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the next sentence? Madaktari, uh, let's see. What? I'll make it one for you. Wale. <laughs> Wale, Watatu, hmm? Wazuri, yes. Wametoka, Holanzi. Yes, very good. Okay. Madaktari. Wale, watatu wazuri. Hmm. Wametoka ulanzi. Then what about him, Toto? Toto moja. Hmm. Anasoma kitabu, lakini watoto wawili. Yes. Hmm. Wanaangalia runinga. Very good. Very good. You're very smart. <laughs> You're very smart. Runinga ni nani? Television. Television? Yes. Other people, they say television, but the Swahili name is Runinga. I know the very some Swahili people, they don't know Runinga is, is television, but mm. the Swahili name is Runinga. Okay, 
Coruninga. Okay. Go the next. Ooh. <laughs> we are almost done. This the first question we go and we'll do it together. Huh? Then, then the other one I will send to you. Then you make you make an exercise. You send back to me. My poor. P. She was the first class, no. So it's Wapi she. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Um, Yule. Yes. Nimpishi wetu mm -hmm. wanyumbani. Very good. Very good. So yes, very that, good. Mm -hmm. that is the chef. That is our chef from Nyumbani. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one? Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, no. oh, let's say, uh, how, mm how, -hmm. how, and Funzi was Uri Wakis Wahid. Yes, very good. You get hundred <laughs> percent. Ah. You're very smart. So for the next let's uh, for the next exercise, question number two, you will do it. I send back to you. Translate mm -hmm. the following sentence into Kiswahili. Mm -hmm. You're gonna translate these sentences, then you send to me. His child is eating our guides. Their children when you go to town, Peter's wife, Peter's children. These are people of Tanzania. I love my parents. My parents and I will visit Tanzania next year. This is my child, my teacher. Mm -hmm. You see, also this one you're gonna change then change the following sentences in, to either singular or in plural. If the sentence is in a singular, you change it in a plural. If the sentence is in a plural, you change it in singular. Okay, while you're pishu hawa wili wana pika vizuri, hawa ni watoto wangu watatu wazuri, huyu ni manafunzi mlefu wa kiswahiri, manafunzi anajua kupika vizuri, sisi tulikuwa tunaogerea ufukweni. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna do this. Oh well, you'll send it to me, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna send it to you right now. Okay. Okay, Asante. We have a question. Wait, wait. Uh maybe I was I wanted to make a suggestion for every lesson to pick a song and maybe I can look at the lyrics to try ah. to translate the lyrics because uh, that's maybe a more fun way to learn new words so if you can suggest a song for me then i will look up the lyrics of the song then we can also um, oh, okay. I, get I think uh, i'm gonna send you a song some of the song i'm gonna mm -hmm. record a song then i send you so a song then you check yeah it. on youtube if you find something like a tradition yeah, I, have, I have them i have them <laughs> uh, malaika i know so malaika I, I, I know i know the, I different have them. one than malaika yeah, okay, okay. Maybe some Tarabu or Sijui. <laughs> <laughs> There's some new good music. They're so gonna send you the current one. Yeah. Oh, the, old, the old diamond when he was young, when the lyrics were still good. Oh, <laughs> there are some good music even the current one. They say. You can share on YouTube, then I will look for the lyrics and I will try to translate into English. Oh, okay, okay. And okay, then, and then book that you showed me but i told you i cannot find it the blue one this one yeah, yeah so is there some exercises uh, from this book that you can take a photo for me then i can also uh, try to make the exercise that is connected to what we're doing now yeah okay i'll, I'll do it yeah if there is any exercise then uh, you can share with me the photo i'll do it okay power mm -hmm. hi santa sana Asante karibu. Uh, tutauna na badaya. Nisikuta ah. tutauna. Ah, asante sana. 